So you've done all the tutorials, but now it's time to create something special, create something from scratch, a brand new project. How do you start? I'm going to let you know. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Kilo Loco. And today I'm going to be going over how you can go from, you know, just following along on tutorials to actually creating your very own app, creating your very own project, whatever it happens to be, and being able to start off by writing that first line of code. So this is a common problem that I see in a lot of beginner developers where they're going through tutorials and they're following along just fine and they, they're starting to grasp some of these concepts. But the problem is that they actually want to go out and they want to start their own thing. But it's kind of hard to get started when you don't even know what is the first thing that you're supposed to start implementing. And honestly, the solution is actually quite easy. Which one of these tutorials looks the most like the finished product? And in order for you to know the answer to that question, you have to already know what the end product is supposed to look like. So the first thing that you got to do is you probably have to come up with some design. Now, you don't have to go through. You don't have to make it look super fancy and beautiful and sexy and all these things. All you need to do is just do something as simple as writing it down on a napkin. I suggest using something that's a little bit sexier than a napkin, but this illustrates my point. Write it on a napkin or just make it visible to the world. Just make it come into this world by getting it out on some type of medium, whether it be a, like a, a software program like Sketch or, you know, writing it down. Or like I said, the napkin works just fine. Just make sure that you get those ideas out of your head on what it's supposed to look like and then just get those general elements together like what is it using is it using like some type of list that you have to scroll through a table view you know do you have to scroll through it are you scrolling left and right are you just going from this plot to this, this spot like what is the app made of now this is considered to be a low fidelity mock-up or you could call it a skeleton the entire purpose of the skeleton is just to get everything out of your head and onto some type of medium and be able to see the flow of the app and to see what the app essentially consists of and once you have that you're able to really start breaking it down into separate screens right and with those separate screens now you're able to see which elements you're actually going to be using and what you're probably going to be working with on each screen so just keep in mind that this is an optional step you don't have to do this but if you're really getting caught up on what line of code that you need to write first this will definitely unclog your brain it will let your brain start flowing and let everything out onto that medium so that you can figure out okay this is what i want the end product to kind of look like and that is going to give you a direction on where to start so moving on from this step whether you followed it or not what you want to decide is do you want to go the route of designing the entire app or do you want to go the route of just simply starting to code it and get the MVP ready, the minimum viable product ready? Now, which one of these you should choose is a topic for a different day. But if you go the design route, then what you're going to do is you're going to continue to make it look all pretty. You're going to, you know, figure out all the color schemes, figure out exactly what it's supposed to look like, you know, around all those those borders or whatever, you're just going to essentially finish what the final product is going to look like. And once you get that done, then the only other option is to start coding it out. So once you're ready to code, this is bringing us back to the original problem where you're like, oh, I don't know what the first line of code is that I should be writing. Well, this is the part where it gets extremely simple because now that you've done so many different tutorials, the chances are that you've actually done a tutorial where it's covering exactly what the first step is supposed to be. So since the majority of this audience is mobile developers, let's just say that you have some type of table view where you're able to scroll through some type of list, right? Well, guess what? I'm pretty positive that you've done a tutorial where you created a list view, where you're able to scroll through some type of list and you're able to select something and probably go to the next screen. I'm pretty sure you've done it. And if the first step isn't something that you've done, well, go find a tutorial on how to do that specific thing. So assuming that you did do this tutorial already, now all you have to do is copy all the code from that tutorial and put it into your new project. Bam, that was easy. So guess what? Now you're no longer stuck on that first line of code. You probably have several lines of code to create this list. And if you're able to copy and paste it into your new project successfully, you probably have something that looks similar to the tutorial. And this is really all you have to do, guys. All you have to do is just take something that you've worked on before 
bring it into the new project and then modify it, modify it. And all you're really doing is just modifying it and modifying it to kind of fit into what your app is supposed to look like. So if it's supposed to have, you know, if, if you're supposed to have like a name and a, a date down here, maybe you did a tutorial where it's like, it was like the title of a restaurant and then the address or something like that, right? Well, guess what? You just change out the title and you put in the name and instead of an address, maybe you put the date or something like that. And that's that's as simple as it gets. You just simply take the tutorial, you start modifying the code, and guess what? Now you have something that starts working. Now, this isn't exactly the best thing that you should be doing. It's better to really have a full grasp on what you what you are putting into your app, but this should unclog your brain. This should get you to a state to where you're starting to modify something that's existing as opposed to being stuck at that first line of code and writers for articles and books and things like that they have this exact same problem it's called writer's block and we're just getting rid of writer's block and luckily we're not authors because if you were to copy a book and then paste it into your word document and then publish that book you probably would get in trouble but coders are held to no such standard so now that you have something all you have to do is just keep sculpting it and sculpting it until you have your final product and that's all you're going to do for each screen of your app application. All you want to do is just take something where you were able to build it out over here, put it in your current project, sculpt it, make it look pretty, make it look sexy, build it to your needs, whatever modifications need to be made, add those modifications. And then this is where it really starts turning into, you know what, I have to learn from this tutorial. So you're probably going to be learning from more tutorials as you go, but that's fine. Once again, you take what you learn from this tutorial, you just copy it into your project and then you sculpt it to whatever you need it to do. Now, as time goes by, you're going to start seeing how things start fitting together, why you're doing certain things. And when you sculpt it to be however you need it to be, it's actually going to increase your knowledge about the subject and your actually going to start understanding why it is that you're doing what it is that you're doing in the tutorial. So I hope that answers your question. Go copy somebody else that did it before you and then start changing that copy. And that will probably work for just about everything that you're trying to do. And for those of you that are saying that, oh, there isn't a tutorial out there that covers exactly what I want to do, you're probably missing the concept of being able to break down the project into smaller pieces. Now, this is a topic that I kind of touch on in a different video of mine where I'm talking about how to get unstuck. You can check out that video and that'll give you pointers on how you can overcome this problem. But essentially, what you want to do is you want to break down whatever it is that you're trying to do to the point to where there is a tutorial on that specific piece and then you can add that into your project and then the thing that you said that you supposedly can't find a tutorial on because apparently you're the only person in the world that's ever trying to do this that's when you can start you know doing your own code and you're gonna have to go do your own research and figure that piece out but the the other parts that are included in that piece you can find tutorials for those other pieces so that's gonna be it for today guys i hope you found that video useful and if you did make sure yeah give it a thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button because i don't know why you're not even subscribed you know i give you the goods i come with the goods but that's it everybody so go out there and keep coding passionately